Concordia University in our town, Seward, is on the cutting edge of stained glass production. It's called the Center for Liturgical Art, and the mission of the program is to promote the use of exceptional visual art in worship and ministry. Our Lance Schwartz is in downtown Seward with the story. The Center for Liturgical Art at Concordia was established in 2003 as a result of the vision of a great Nebraska artist and Concordia professor named Reinhold Markshausen. It was his dream to spread beautiful, intriguing, and inspirational art to churches all around the world. So much of, of what we see as humans is visual um, more than any other. Uh, sense that's our primary uh, source of information. Evan Balawig is the operations manager for the Center for Liturgical Art at Concordia. The Center for Liturgical Art is an opportunity for us to help churches align their visual theology with their spoken theology. They do that through a variety of art that includes stained glass, furniture, mosaics, sculptures and banners. In addition to that, we have the, uh, the benefit of taking young student artists um, and then sort of teaching them what it means to uh, make art in the church. It's very exciting, Lance. The purpose overall, at least from my perspective, is that through the Center for Liturgical Art, we would help people see Jesus. Concordia University President Brian Friedrich is happy to see that this art ends up in a variety of locations. It's in churches and a whole lot more. Homes, hospitals, schools, even prayer gardens. The main theme is uh, water and salvation. Designing for the Center for Liturgical Art has allowed Evan to share his art with the world. Yeah, our, our biggest project to date is uh, the 72 stained glass windows uh, I just got back from installing in Hong Kong at Hong Kong International School. Hey, we're finishing up a uh, big painting for Long Island Lutheran. Mark Anschutz is the managing artist at the center. Carol and Harvey Lang were here at Concordia. He was a professor along with Markshausen, and they would talk about how the church could spread the gospel so much more effectively visually. Many fine examples of the CLA's work can be found inside Concordia's chapel, which is located inside of the venerable Weller Hall. Just this last year, we've added the side windows, so we have the micro to the macro of creation, and all of it swirls around the cross up at front where the, the uh, abundant joy is. And speaking of joy, Mark is thrilled that workers are busy building a new center for liturgical art on the south side of the Concordia campus. We always dreamt of having a space that we could dedicate to making art. The new home of the CLA will be located on the site of the house where Reinhold and Doris Markshausen used to live. It's been a long time coming, but we're excited. If all goes as planned, the brand spanking new Center for Liturgical Art will be ready for its grand opening during Concordia's homecoming in late September. And the good folks at Concordia invite you to drop by and take a look around anytime. I know I'm looking forward to checking out the new CLA building this fall. Thank you, Lance. And remember, you can catch all of the Our Town Seward stories right now on 1011now.com after they air. Stick around. Your full forecast is next.